This is Aldo Zilli. Aldo's a restaurateur in London, and this is Enzo Oliveri. He's also a restaurateur and originally from Sicily, which is good, as Aldo wants to find out all about Sicilian cuisine, and Enzo has agreed to introduce him to it. Ribera, here we come. Where is Ribera anyway? Ribera is in the south of Sicily. Okay. And uh, he's, a, he's well known for his oranges. But okay. then I'm going to take you to Shaka on the seaside to get uh, a nice bit of seaside. Fresh air. I'm really excited about seaside. Yes. Because we're making a fish stew there. Yes. And I'm going to show you a really good carpaccio of calamari. Mm -hmm. and, and yes. We're also making a fruit salad and uh, some peaches in white wine. Yes, we will. And some superfood granola with Sicilian ingredients. What more do we I've want got it. in yeah. life? Yeah. <laughs> you know, in general. Yeah. Uh, a more Regina. Yeah. Regina, here, Regina, here, is, here is. Here is. Here is. Here is Ribera. Aldo and Enzo are on the outskirts of Ribera, an area where agriculture is the main industry, and notably oranges, which would explain why Aldo and Enzo are heading now towards an orange grove. Come on, Enzo. Here we are. That's a, a nice place. weather. I can't believe you've been in England too long, mate. Socks, shorts, What's wrong with and shoes. That? Oh, you should wear it. There's I've a, so long in England. You should a wear lot it. wrong with that. I'm telling you, Nothing especially in this heat. Why do you need socks? Oh, come on, Aldo. We can't all be super cool all of the time. Look at the array of ingredients we have here. Unbelievable. They're all nuts. They're all coming all from this uh, fields here. They all grow here. Name. L Limone. Lemon. Lemon. Name. Orangex. This is the orange. Bef <coughs> now, and that's what it's going to be. Right. And the changes of the time, color. Maybe? Yeah. Mm. And all change the color. That's Name. The peach. What kind? Is uh, Ribera. White, white. White Ribera beach. White Ribera beach. That's we're going later. That's mm. a peach. What are these? Prickly pears. Yes. These. This is uh, khaki. Khaki fruits. And these. Pomegranate. Okay. And these. Walnuts. So that's before and after. That's right. Oh, look yes, at look that. at that. <sighs> then, I'm going to eat that later. Yeah, yeah but if you, the, if you leave a bit in the sun, then it dries up mm -hmm. and becomes what you normally eat. So that's dry. what you do. You pick them like this. And then leave and then, it to dry in the sun. And then that's it. Then you open and you eat it. Yep. And it becomes this. Yep. Walnuts. Walnuts. OK, off we go. I'm going to make a, a breakfast. You can, you, you, what are you going to make? I'm going to make a fruit salad. Fruit that salad. Goes, yeah. yeah. That's really difficult, isn't it? It so is interesting. We're going to have a fish afterwards, and then I want a fruit salad after. I've got uh, oh. walnuts here. I've got raisins. I've got pine nuts. And uh, I've got uh, chocolate. And I've got these lovely little oranges here that we picked behind me. OK, and all this. It's going to be binding together. Do you have a spoon, Enzo? Yes, of course. You pass me what spoon, colour? Yeah. Spoon, I said. There you go. Yeah, we have all different colour spoon now. So all of these lovely fruits <laughs> and nuts. Oh, my God. I don't why, even know what, why I bother what, with him, to be honest. <laughs> you know that? Oh, dear. Can you make do me a favour when we go back to England? Don't speak to me for six months. OK. I okay. Actually, I cancelled your telephone number. Oh, did you? <laughs> It's all right, because I've changed it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> OK, so we've got pomegranate here, which grow right behind me, over there, actually. And um, you, you open the fruit up, and then you bash it with a spoon. And I'll need only a few in here, because I don't want this to be too wet. Otherwise, it won't work. OK, so basically, I'm making a little healthy uh, granola here. OK, I've got this lovely orange marmalade. 
I've got some honey. And I've got this fantastic cream of almonds. Very, very, very. It's, it's, nice. not, it's not that sweet. But you know what? I don't understand why people don't, don't do this at home. Because, you know, it's so simple. And you buy those bars and they're full of sugar. You don't know what's in them. And, you know, make, making this at home would be a doddle, really, a piece of cake. Okay? Well, it's not a cake, actually. It's a breakfast, and people don't even realize how important breakfast is. I mean, for me, breakfast, now I put it into my kids. Breakfast in the morning, especially Rocco, because he's 10 years old, he's a footballer, and he really, really wants to play sport. And if I give him a good breakfast in the morning, I notice a difference on him. You know, he goes to school, and he comes back, and he says, Dad, I had such a great day today, because he's not hungry until lunchtime. Yeah. Because otherwise they start snacking on, on rubbish, doesn't they? And I can see a lot of proteins in there that they keeps you going on all day long. All day long. <laughs> okay, can I carry on with yeah, my wine? Well, tell, tell me what you're doing. Huh? Okay, it's... what I'm doing is uh, it's a typical things of, thing of this area. Mm -hmm. What they do, they pick the pitches, fill it up with wine, and leave it for the night. So the wine tastes like peach, and the peach tastes like wine. Okay. You say, what's the point of it? But because we're going to have both, we have a blend of the two things. So it's wouldn't it be okay. easier just to have a peach and have a glass of wine no. next to it? No, I'll tell so you later. It's in the wine, eh? It's in a waste of wine because we're going to drink the wine and we're going to eat the peach. I'm adding chocolate here. Okay, chocolate chips are uh, going everywhere now. So I've got here some orange juice. Put all my peach. Those oranges, I mean, we, you know, what, what more do we want? <laughs> <laughs> we're using they're, oranges. They're fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you could put this on a board, shape it, and then put it in the fridge, and this will be like a, a bar. And also, the chocolate that I put in is optional. And now I'm going to put it in this ring. Okay. Imagine having this for breakfast. Oh, wow. That's nice. That will mm -hmm. keep Maybe going on all day. The chocolate, obviously, I'm, I'm not sure whether I would put too much chocolate in it. What I need to do after this... Take the ring off and put some some of that lovely yogurt, plain yogurt on top. Tell me a bit about this village. This village is uh, just five miles, uh, no, five kilometers from the, the the beach where we are here now. Yes, and we're gonna. I'm gonna take you there as soon as we finish this, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna be swimming. No, Not really. Swimming. Are we gonna no. cook fish? Yes. Yes. We're, we're gonna, gonna find good. fish here. Yes. What kind of fish? There is all. Uh, local fish, fish that uh, is uh, in season at the moment. You can put some pomegranate in it. No, I've lost interest now. Which I'm going to finish my one. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll do mine. No, I'm oh. only joking. Oh. You take everything so seriously. Yeah. Okay, who's going to put the prickly pear in there? Uh, I'm not touching prickly <laughs> pears. <laughs> no way. Oh, okay. in Sicily, prickly pears are everywhere. I mean, we have to do something. To, to promote prickly pears in England. Yeah, I put I've in never water. I've seen so much fruit. I did put in water. You see all the floating spikes here, the fiber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you can. It's better not to touch by hand. It's because I know how to touch it and not to get any spikes. So in what there. would you use then? Well, we've, we've been through this a few times. It's a yes, thing. because uh, this is the right tool. Okay. Or gloves. Or gloves. Or gloves. Again, this is one. You'll be surprised the color of this one. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh. They are all different uh, color. They Can are I the touch same? it now? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, no, no, no. You see? It's... Oh, I need to try this. This is a waste putting in that fruit salad. Which one is a waste? We're going to eat oh. it anyway. Mm. Look, this is a different color. The seeds are very hard, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. I, will, I really... want to live under those trees. That's where I want to live. It's very... I want to go back to England. Okay, so the ring is coming off this. Let's hope this stays together. Not that it matters if it doesn't, but it's a bit warm here, so... Yes, it, it is. It won't. probably won't stay together, but... At home, obviously, you'd put this in the fridge for a while and then serve it. And you know one fruit that grows here as well, that I haven't told you? It's a kiwi. We have a big growing of kiwi in Sicily. Have you? Yes, we are. I was wondering are. why they were on this table. Though. Yes, because people don't think that we grow kiwis here, but we do. And they are very, very nice kiwi. Mm. 
learn something new there. You learn every day. Yep. Okay, so there's your lovely little breakfast there. You can take a shot of this, ends up, if you want. Oh, no, sorry, you're not filming. The cameraman is taking Yes. <laughs> if you want, oh. I, can, I can swap. Okay, this is lovely now. What else is going in here? There's kiwi. Yep. Some, a little bit of honey. A little bit of honey that gives it the... Balance up. Basta, basta. Balance up the... Okay, you take that. I take okay. this. Let's go to the beach. And I'm uh, bored with it. I take the pictures with me. Take the pictures with me. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> now that is lovely and healthy too. This is Shaka, an historic fishing port on the south of the island. So, where else better would you make a fish stew and calamari carpaccio? Well, now I see why you didn't take me to the beach. Because all those fishing boats there brought us all this fantastic produce. Did they really give it to you for nothing? Like yes, that? they did. But we have to mention its name. He's or one person, was it? Yeah, Pasquale. Pasquale. Pa pa Grazie, Pasquale. I think you heard him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> OK, so we've got an array of fish here, which is now I feel like I'm in Sicily, you know, and finally I've got some fish to cook. What's the recipe? What are we doing? Because you come from here and the, you, you cook this a lot, don't you? In Sicily, it's big fish, fish stew. But in here, especially, it's they eat all the time because they, they pick up the fish from there and they've got all variety of fish. The best thing to do with them is fish stew. It's a very simple recipe. Because it's all together. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and uh, it all gives different flavors, different texture, and this the stew comes all But there's certain thing. fish that don't go into fish stews. Yes. For example, don't it? Yeah, like there mackerel. Is mackerel, no. The, they don't put oily it fish, it's yeah. better not to use for the stew. Okay. Yeah, and they separate the dismantle. And in this case, we haven't even got any shellfish. You haven't got any clams or mussels? No, no, that's a fish stew. It's, it's a no. A shellfish is it's just fish. fish. Okay, well, you've got your yeah. fish here. It's all yes. prepped. Okay, and I need some garlic first. You need some garlic? Okay, well, you do the garlic, and I'm going to clean some squid. Okay, this is the squid. This is how you buy squid. This has just come from the boat. they got wings, look. Yeah, they got they wings. Ah, they fly. they got tentacles. Ah, yeah, oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> to swim. They need things to swim. So you pull yeah. the tentacles out, and then there's quite a lot in it. Sometimes you find little fish in squid, don't you? Yeah. Inside the squid. And That's then good. you find this um, membrane here, which is uh, looks like a bit of plastic. Look at that. It's mm? bit, yep. That People... holds all the, the fish together. If you pull the skin off like this, and you smell under the skin, normally if it doesn't smell of anything, then this squid is the freshest squid that you've ever seen. And the other tip about being fresh is if the skin comes off all in one, normally, and nice and clean, and the body needs to be white, and that's it. Look at that. Oh, that's bravo. Uh, what do you mean, bravo? I just, bravo. Cleaned, I just cleaned the screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I get on with my... Over to yeah. Enzo, because he's only going to complain otherwise. Extra virgin olive oil, DOP, some garlic. Not much, because uh, you don't want to overpowering on the fish. And then we put uh, our fish. Tossing around. A little bit of salt, no much. A little bit of pepper. We put uh, some parsley now and some parsley later. Parsley. That's Are you sure you need parsley? For this I recipe? do need parsley with this recipe. I have to let without you use that. Parsley is not the recipe. You know the wings. Do you normally use this with the wings, or do you yes. just chuck them away? No, no, no. You use everything except use the wings. Wing yes. Well, don't you? What you don't use the tentacles? Yeah, you use the tentacles, but uh, from uh, upwards with. You cut, you cut through the eyes? Through the eye, that's right. Okay. And through, and this is the mouth in there? That's the mouth. It's, yeah. yeah. Okay. So how many yeah. eyes has it got? The, the two, of course. Two. Okay. Like yeah, us? Like us, yeah. They have right. to see right. left and right. So right. two. Do you want Can, the squid in yeah, there? Yeah, please, put it in there. Okay, there you go. I need some wine. Okay, I'm going to rinse my hands here. A little now, bit of uh, white wine. I'm going to show you this very ugly. This is a scorpion fish, but the 
actual spikes here, it's, they're quite dangerous. So if you're going to buy this at home, if you've got to deal with it, then get some very sharp scissors and cut that off straight away and then clean it as you would a normal uh, fish, yeah? Yep. Then here we have this wonderful little snapper. They snap these ones. Now, when you feel a fresh fish, it does feel different than the, the, than the fish that you buy yeah. in the zoomarket at home. This feels so hard. It's like a muscle. Yeah, they're stiff. And the eye there, look at the eye. It's really, look, it's looking at you like it's still alive. And then under the gills, again, you know, under the gills is really, really red and lovely. So that's the little snapper there. We also got a bream here. We've got a gilt bream. We've got loads of little fishes here. We've got this fish here. This is called a nacello, where I come from. Uh, in English, what would this be in English? Whiting. Whiting. Whiting, of course. Thank you. You see, he's, he's not arguing with Zilli the fish anymore. Okay, so this squid, I washed it, cleaned it. Okay, so that's how I turn the squid inside out. Watch this, Enzo, because you might learn something. Yep. Not that you don't know this, but... Okay, this is how you turn your squid inside out. There you go. It's to clean it properly as Clean well. it properly, and also you don't break the whole body. You can or you cannot put chili. I like chili. I'm going to put some in there. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind. No, have you asked everybody else? Yeah, yeah I did. I did ask yeah. everybody. Have we got any fans up there? Look, yeah. yeah. Did they mind chili? Can you ask them? Le piace il peperoncino na zuppa no? Sì. Okay, so Shaka, 700 years before Christ, this village was, was built. Yeah, is that right? That's yes. What, that's what I've been told. Yeah. And I'm really impressed with all the lovely people here. Buonasera. You know, if you're at home watching this and you think, where are they? We are in Shaka in Nea. It's about an hour from Palermo. Yes, in the south. And, we are and in it's in the south of Sicily. Yeah, very close to Agrigento. Well, very close to the sea. Yeah, well, actually, more closer than that. Yeah. I think you have to <laughs> jump in. <laughs> Come on, it's not that near. You have to drive down there. Eh? Aldo, yeah. I've got something here that is uh, more expensive than gold. Okay, what is it? Look at that, saffron. This I'm going to put in my stew. So and saffron flower grows around here, does it? Yes, yes. It's since the, the Arab came to conquer Sicily, that they brought this flower and it's been grown since. It's quite big here in Sicily, saffron. Really? Yes. There you go. Yep. Now you can put the saffron in and that changes color straight away. Here we are. While Enzo's doing yeah, look, that, look at, you... the, look at the color, though. Oh, yeah, sorry. Look at that. Can you look yeah. at that color, Yeah, please? look at the color here. It changes, you see? All this color becomes, say, yellow. You know what I'm doing here? I'm doing some squid sashimi. Okay, little carpaccio of squid. Because, you know, I feel sorry cooking, cooking fish when it's this fresh. I think we should eat the fish raw. There. Okay, so I've got sure. some. This is a, a very, <coughs> very powerful, strong orange. And that's the zest going in there now. Now I need, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Enzo. Now I need a lemon zest. Okay, so now he's bossing me around. Never I mind. am not. But we are chefs. At the end of the day, if you feel a bit of tension, sometimes, which they will be, we are chefs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not here to, you know, be nice to each other. Can you imagine in a very busy kitchen saying, please, would you mind mm -hmm. passing me that plate? Mm -hmm. Hello? That doesn't yeah. happen in any kitchen, does How it? How do you say normally? So why don't we just... Eh? Why do you say normally? No, I can't say it on TV, <laughs> but... I you can imagine. Say, I definitely wouldn't say that. It's in there. Okay. Now I need a little bit of this oil, but before that, I like to season it. I'll help you, is it? No, 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 no pepper. I don't like pepper. But I do. I know, but hey, this is not for you. But okay. I, want to, I want to eat it. <laughs> Extra virgin olive oil. This olive oil is the... Don't say. <laughs> it's to die for. <laughs> and uh, this could be a little starter, couldn't it? Look at that. Carpaccio of squid from... The Shaka Sea to and the plate. From Pasquale. From Pasquale. <laughs> <laughs> Can we play your soup then? Come on. Listen, it's better the stays a little bit here than the to rest. To rest. Okay. So and should we do meantime, some clearing up? No. Wait. Look at what I got here. Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Look at the color. 
Okay, but put Look them here. how we change the color. These are the peaches. Yes, the peaches the with you, white wine. You did earlier. Now we have a pink wine and uh, with a taste of uh, peach. Right. You want to try it? Yeah, and we made a fruit salad as well this morning. Yes. So there you go. So I've got peach, we've got fruit salad. It's something oh, I'm going to drink that. Yes. Look really? at the color. So that's, that's pink wine now. Pink wine. Peach wine. Yes. This is a Bel it. Bellini wine. That's really how the Bellini was born. Oh, really? That's the, the Bellini was born. No, but, I yes. never knew that. Yeah, that's you the are Bellini. You so yeah. clever. Cheers. Wine Bellini. Very good. Very good. Very good. Cheers. Cheers. I have to give it to you on this one. Thank it's you. Very, that's, very good. I'm I'm gonna, I will I'm, drink this uh, every day. I'm looking forward to drinking that later. Yep. And this is the fruit salad that's been marinating in that fresh orange, is it? Yes. Lovely. Oh, mm. look. Very good. Look at the juice, the color of the juice. Because mm. it's bringing all the, the flavor all together. And so if the wine tastes of peach, the peach should taste of wine. Yes. So we tr need to try these as well. Oh, they're soft. We, eh? Yeah, we call drunk uh, peach. Drunk and peach. Because mm. mm. wine doesn't make you fat. Wine no, what make, does... It makes you lean. Yeah. Against you. <laughs> let's you, play it up, come on. You're terrible. <laughs> let's, mm. let's play it up, come on. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. Now we need a, that, all the juice there we need. This is not, remember at home, this is not a soup, yeah? This is a, no. a, a, a little <coughs> Italian Sicilian bouillabaisse, isn't it? Yep. The heads are good, they stay there, but we're not going to use the heads, obviously that was just for flavor, wasn't it? Yep. I think it's going to be very tasty, actually. It looks tasty, and it oh, just lovely. kind of feels. Can you get a spoon now, because I'm going to taste this myself, before you go anywhere. And I'm going to try. Oh, bellissimo. Che buono, Enzo. Mamma mia, quanto è buono. Buono. È buonissimo. Very, very good. Look at that, eh? So, you have a, two a little stew. beautiful dish. Enzo, that's your um, fish stew. And that's uh, your carpaccio of squid. Ah, what a, what a friend you are. <laughs> I love Very it. good. <laughs> Friends indeed. Join Aldo and Enzo next time for another Sicilian gastronomic delight. <laughs>